Hello, my name is Rich Kanyali here and I'm directing Andrew Mark Ministries and Karis Bible College here in Uganda. I have a huge update. Karis Bible College is doing its enrollment already going on for the year 2022. If you're out there and you believe in God to join Karis Bible College or to join Bible College, I tell you to look no farther. Karis Bible College is the place for you. Karis Bible College will teach you God's word line upon line. I believe Karis will play a major part in transforming your life, training you to become a leader and then sending you out to change the world. So I want to encourage you to please pray about and prepare to join us as we start our next year, 2022, on January the 22nd. That's when our school starts. So I want to encourage you to please think about this, pray about this, and financially prepare to join us. We have multiple programs that are running here at Karis Bible College. And I'm telling you, you can study part-time, you can study full-time, you can study hybrid, where you come in two Saturdays a month, or even you can study correspondence, where you study at the comfort of your home. I mean, we have multiple programs for you to join us on encourage you to please think about this and pray about it because man Karis Bible College will change your life we love you and God bless you wani zanyo ate kusawa ya mazima genjiri ilanga manyo ni dobo nze David Male wamine mganda wange Isaac Isaac sebo toko miyo kuchitu unduno echoku satu echoku satu echa Man of God syndrome. And what the yam saja wakatonda gambie. <laughs> Nari mani no tugena kuma kuchindo cha kubiri. Na ye kwe gamba buri wetu yongiro kudiginga echi gambo cha katonda chineno. Mm. Tu yongiro kuma ngati tuwe banyo maksa kuma ngati mani tia bantu bainye buso bingi nyo. Mm. Rache mani tu chuna mali programi no tuja kuma ngati bawa communication uh, over contacts. Ezo kuma ngazo jo kuma ngati osindi ke chizibu zocho. Oba no kusindi koko kusima ku. Mm. Okuwa nchi ofsumuru dua Ne mm. mkasera kano njaga tugene maso Ate ku Kuchinundu cha fashion Echoku satu Echa man of God syndrome Oba Isaac Chaise O msajja wakata Nduwa daya msajja wakata Onda e, agambe <laughs> Nsonga neno nkulu nyo Elio mbili kwa kristu Kubanga e. Elani mwola bante Somo, somo lino li wamvu yemu e. E, Nsonga kubanga Lili li sensitive Yes Biyabi mkubi yes. yes. nitu Ebi baby buze Iba debi inji Miti mm. majaba Ntu mm. norecho manjide dara Nti haba singa Obusiwe uh, Toba demu Obusiwe kwa stani mm. Na yoba demu Obusiwe kwa butamanya yes. Norecho Amazima Go gede, Man, what a point, what a point. Mm. Yeah, but ignorance, ignorance is the problem. People mm. are blaming saying this, saying that, but the mm. truth is, <laughs> ignorance is the issue. If you can <laughs> renew your mind, you begin to see your life totally uh, transformed. Mm. Amen. Mm. So we, we in part three of uh, Man of God Syndrome. And you can also say woman of God syndrome, or you can say minister of God syndrome. Mm. Uh, you can even say leader syndrome, you yes. know, uh, people. And again, we started part one. We talked about, you know, what a man of God should not be and what we should not be doing mm. uh, to exalt men of God. We should not be doing man worship. I showed a lot of scriptures from Acts chapter 10. Uh, I showed another scripture from Revelation chapter 19. Mm. And we talked about how respect, you know, ought to go both directions, not just going up, but also going down. And so That's we right. have to be respectful and man of God. Our respect is two way. We just put things in right perspective and said, you need to get in the word of God mm. and begin to study the word and get to a place where you learn to hear from the Lord yourself and you don't depend on another man of God. Now, there's a place for man of God, but we have exalted man of God too high, mm. so highly that man, God is on the bench. Man of God is playing in the field. <laughs> and that's not the way it's supposed to be, you know. You never substitute God on your team. Are you hearing yes. me? Mm-hmm. It is the man of God needs to be on the bench. You bring him when you need him. Mm-hmm. But God ought to be playing chenda 90 <laughs> minutes, okay, <laughs> all the time mm-hmm. playing. And so if you really understand what I just said, that will really say Ifri, because a lot of um, manipulation, a lot of exploitation, a lot of uh, cults and things have come up as a result of people highly mm. esteeming the man of God higher than they're supposed to be. Mm. Colossians chapter 2 verse 18 talks about, you know, many people are being deceived to the point where they're now even we're trying to worship angels. Mm. Worship is reserved yes. for only God, not any man. We saw how Peter dealt with it in the book of Acts chapter 10. Mm. We see how Peter, uh, sorry, Paul and Barnabas responded in Acts chapter 14. Mm. Uh, we see how John messed up and the angel corrected him in mm. Revelation chapter 19 verse 10. Mm. So we're saying all these things to say that we need to be very careful not to elevate man of God, woman of God too highly than they're supposed to be. Again, you want to go back and listen to part one, listen mm. to part two, 
which also went in talking about the responsibilities of a man of God. One of the things I said that I loved saying again in the book of uh, 1 Peter chapter 5, we say the job of the man of God is to feed the mm. flock of God, F-E-E-D, mm. not to fill the flock mm. secretly. Yes. You know, that's not the responsibility of the man of God. The man of God should be praying for the flock, not praying on the flock. Mm. You know, taking advantage and using them and, you know, you know, eating on them. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That is not the place of the man of God. The man yes. of God, you know, is supposed to be, you know, perfecting the saints, not perverting yes. uh, the saints. And mm. so we are having this and we need to understand this is happening in the body of Christ. We have to be so deeply mm. grounded in the word of God that we will not be taken Yes. advantage of will not mm. be st- spoiled or stolen from and so yes. i just want to continue from where we left off which was mostly responsibilities of the man of god and i shared all of those mm. but i was focusing also on the gifts on the body and i say from the book of ephesians chapter 4 verses 11 through 12 mm. that those gifts right there the fivefold gifts in ephesians chapter 4 are not superior to other gifts that god has given to the body mm. the other gifts the bible talks about in the book of first um Corinthians chapter 12, uh, verses 1, I think, goes through 9. Then another one, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 28, I believe, through 31 or 33. Another one is from the book of Romans chapter 12, Mm. verses 3, going down to verses 8, I believe. And so multiple, multiple gifts. So no matter what you do in the body of Christ, no matter what your gifting or your calling is, please never look down on it. And man of God should not do the same because it is important to god and you are important and just because i am a teacher speaking through a microphone doesn't make me superior or better than you it just makes me different from you because mm-hmm. my grace my gifting is different my gracing is gi- different mm-hmm. and so is that true for you your gifting is different and your gracing is different we are differently gifted and we are graced differently mm-hmm. because the grace that we receive from god to do what we do the enabling the power uh, uh, is based on the gifting that God has called us to do. So again, I'm not going to go through part one, part two, but I want to encourage you to check out our, our. you know, you can call us, go on our social media platform. We think we are, have this on WhatsApp. You can get the teachings. You can go on uh, YouTube and also get the teachings from those previous uh, parts, part one and part two. But I want to go to the book of, uh, real quick here as we get started, mm-hmm. the book of Matthew chapter 19. I'm going to read from verses 1 through 9. It's quite a bit, but I'll read that. And I want to make a point again. As we were talking here, we thought we needed to expound on this. But there's a situation, there's a time where the men, uh, the Pharisees, which were the men of God at that time. Mm. Remember, man of God syndrome is the mm. subject we're talking about. You know, went on and told uh, the people that time that, you know what? You, you don't, if, if, if you can take the tithes and the monies that you're supposed to be give, given to your parents and you give them, to the church and give it to us the man of god you're free from the responsibility of Mm. taking care of your parents and supporting your parents where you had to and that's what they taught and so they came to jesus and they opened their mouth and said then came the came came to jesus the scribes and the pharisees which were of jerusalem saying Mm. why do thy disciples transgress the tradition of the elders Mm. these guys were sick man they were so concerned about the tradition of the elders they were never concerned about the word of god yes did you know we have a lot of people like this Mm. why are you transgressing against the man of god Mm -hmm. that's what they were saying Mm. it was a tradition of the man of god Mm. Mm. for they wash not their hands when they eat bread but jesus answered and said unto them why do you transgress the commandment of God <laughs> by your tradition? Basically, wow. someone comes to you and says, why do you transgress against the man of God? Then I reply by saying, why do you transgress the word of God? Mm-hmm. Wow. That's how Jesus responded, basically. Mm. These guys were making noise and beating drums for transgressing against the man of God or the, tra- the traditions or transg- transgressions of the elders. Mm. And mm. Jesus responded by saying, you guys, Mm. I even doing what's worse. You're transgressing against the word of God. Did wow. you know a lot of people in that place? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Men of God mm-hmm. and just mm-hmm. exalting the traditions of the elders over the word of God. Mm-hmm. Man of God mm-hmm. syndrome. Mm-hmm. They have the man of God syndrome. They think they're so high they think so highly of themselves and mm-hmm. they ought to be. But not only that, we saw in the book of Acts chapter five. Mm-hmm. And when the apostles started doing miracles, yeah. 
the people thought oh my god mm. you're doing miracles you're yes. so holy you're so powerful mm. look at me i'm average and the bible says they dared not join themselves unto the disciples but they highly magnified them mm. yes. in other words the disciple the, the people put the apostles on a higher level than themselves mm. why because they did miracles yes mm. Wow, that is basic in the kingdom of God. Mm. That is for every believer. Mm. <laughs> if you're going to elevate a person, let it even not be for miracles. If you're going to do it for the word of God, maybe. Of course you shouldn't. Yeah. You should not elevate no man. Mm. But these guys were doing this because these guys were doing miracles. Mm. And little did they know that they also could do what they could do. Mm. Yes. Mm. So there was no reason in exalting them, mm. magnifying them, because mm. what they did was average. Mm. They yeah. could do. Wow. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yes. But again, we have this mindset. But then the disciples here, sorry, the Pharisees here in the book of Matthew, again, going back to Matthew 15, mm. this guy said, no, no. He says, mm. but ye, Jesus says, yeah, Jesus is really bringing this to them and says, for the commandment says, I honor thy father and thy mother, and he say, and, and he that cutheth the father and the mother, let him die of die the death. But ye, talking about the scribes and the Pharisees, Jesus is telling them, mm. but you guys, whatsoever, whatsoever shall say, you say that, you, whatsoever you shall say to his father, I mean, you say to these guys mm. that it is a gift, mm. but whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me. In other words, what this is saying, I'll just summarize and move on. They were just saying that, man, don't worry. Don't take care of your parents. Mm. Just stay... Mm. Uh, you know, you know, this has been given to God, mm, to the to men of God. God. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, you know, and you're free. Mm. You don't have to take care of them. And mm. Jesus was saying, no, that is wrong. Mm. That is a tradition of men and should not be doing like that. Wow. But again, these guys were literally had a man of God syndrome. Mm. They were saying, exalt us. It was about them. Do you think that money made it ever to God? I guarantee you the Pharisees and <laughs> the scribes <laughs> squandered it before they hit the bottom of the mm. offering basket. Kwekambokukwateecho,chewateseteese,ngachirina the man of God. Yeah, there is a place for man of God, mm. but is the place is not for him to take what mm. was meant to be for mm. your parents. Yes. You, for instance, you know, you, you you have rent. If if you rent from me and I'm your landlord, and you come tell me God told you <coughs> to give the money that's supposed to be your rent. <coughs> excuse me. The money was supposed to be your rent, and you're saying they should be given to the man of God and all these kind of things. You know what happens the next morning? I'll I'll, <laughs> I'll take you out of the house. I'll I'll kick you out. <laughs> Nobody accepts that. Yeah. No, you cannot play man of God mm. in the name of not taking your responsibilities. Your mm. responsibility is you got to pay your rent. Mm. Yes. Dang it, take the money and mm. pay your rent. Mm. I had a situation where students, many times students come and say, oh, you know, I'm leaving out for money. God sent me here. God's been paying my tuition. First semester is done. I have three months to go. Hallelujah. And then they believe in God for money. They get money. Mm. And they say, well, the Lord led me to give first fruit. Mm. And they gave all the first fruit away. They gave all the money away. Mm. And then they come to me and say, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, I gave the first fruit to the church or to the man of God. And I'm forgiving. I love giving. And I, I give. I'm not, I'm not against giving. But the thing is, something is wrong with that picture. Mm. And so now, they're being kicked out of school, mm. which they say God sent them to. Mm -hmm. And God kept, God kept them there for seven months. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they say God, the same God, mm. told them to take the same money that was supposed to be for their tuition mm. and give it to the man of God mm. or put it at the feet of the man of God. But the wow. same God did not provide a way mm. for them to pay their tuition mm. so they're being kicked out of school mm. for not paying tuition. Mm. So the truth is somebody did not hear God. Yeah. Mm. Somebody missed God. Yeah. They yeah. dishonored mm. their they, responsibility, correct. their commitment to, to honor Absolutely. So that dishonoring the school, the mm. ministry, mm. in the name of honoring the man of God. Mm. So they're saying, in other words, man of God is higher 
comes first before anybody else mm. comes first before my parents comes mm. first before my commitment mm. my kids won't eat mm. watch me i'm gonna give to the man of god mm. something is wrong with our picture ladies and gentlemen that's right mm-hmm. that's what exactly i call the man of god syndrome mm-hmm. and if you don't wake up from that kind of stuff you will run yourself to poverty wow. you'll be exploited you'll be used and before you know it you wow. lose your mind <laughs> someone said one time mm. uh, he's a dear friend of mine his name is called pastor rick he said you know never meet your hero <laughs> you know what that means no. Basically, if you meet your man of God and you get to know your man of God, ah, mm. eh, you'd be like, is this it? <laughs> eh, you get the revelation of the man of God syndrome. <laughs> because remember, yeah. man of God is man of mm. God. Yes. Eh, not supernatural of mm. God. Mm. Man mm. of God. So people miss this kind of things. Man of what? God. God. Mm. Yes, they're still man. Just because there's God after man doesn't mean they become supernatural <laughs> and uh, they are flawless. Mm. No, there's still a man of God. And if yes. you meet your hero, you discover you have no more hero. Mm. <laughs> you better make Jesus your hero right now because That's he's the right. only perfect one. Mm. And I promise you, when you get to meet your hero, get to know your hero, you'll be disappointed. Mm. Some of you will meet your hero and your hero will not even pay attention to you. Mm. Will That's not even right. listen to you. Will not even shake your hand. Will not even look mm. you in the eye. You know why? Because he's a man of God. And yeah. for you, a junior. Mm. Hey, who are you? Hey, I have no time. Hey? Mm. I have things to do. Hey? I'm yes. anointed. Mm. You, you're just upcoming. I don't know if you ever make it. Mm. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. Listen to me now. You can't talk. All of you, yes. be quiet. Mm. Man of God in the house. Mm. Quiet everywhere. Mm. I just told you earlier, the respect goes up yes. and goes down. Yes. Honor goes up and goes down Mm. and if you understand that it's going to set you free from this kind of stuff Mm. especially i'm speaking to a lot of men of god that are listening to ministers that are Mm. listening Mm. i'm sorry i'm 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 rubbing you the wrong way it is Mm. what it is Mm. this helps you this is good for you too Mm. because man you don't want to take the place of god oh you don't want to do that it's dangerous it's 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 no good Mm. but i'm saying all these things to say that we need to get to a place where man we totally dethrone the man of god and enthrone the king of kings i repeat we need to get to a place where we totally eviscerate dethrone the man of god from the throne Mm. of our lives of our hearts Mm. and then let the king of kings take his rightful place and let the man of god also take his rightful place Mm. which is not the throne some other place amen Mm. and if we do that we're going to grow And I'm telling you, we're going to see God just come through in our lives better than ever before. Mm. It is good for you. It is healthy that you make this decision. Nti esomo lino ligendereddwa okulaba nga likuyamba nga ojja musajja wakatonda kunna mulondo iyo mutima gwo. Oleke kabaka waba kabaka. Kristu Yesu atule kunna mulondo iyo mutima gwo yeka. Era wo mana no kola kino. Obulambo bugena kutandika ogena kulaba ngo obulambo butandika okuchuka ngabo berera dale echo cho ino kubera yes. wow a leader you have to be available among the people i made this point also but i want to continue saying a lot about this because again this man of god syndrome that a lot of people have woman of god syndrome is that man the man of god just always separates himself mm. is you can't see him mm. you know he's not available never available never available never available mm. but is a man he's supposed to be taking care of the sheep is a shepherd has to be among the sheep mm. but the shepherd is nowhere to be seen mm. you see what i'm saying but one of the things that a minister has to do is to reject the temptation of being untouchable you yes. are touchable mm. you think about it how many people got healed by jesus walking among the crowds wow. did you know jesus did not run among the clou- crowds no he walked among the crowds and mm. as many as touched him mm. yes mm. they were healed peter did the same thing you know they Mm. got healed Mm. why because he was available Mm. he was available among the people he was approachable he was reachable Mm. he was touchable he was not in the green room you know what a green room is right is that little room where men of god be when everybody's worshiping Mm. you know when the worship is done and the (laughs) announcements are done they open the door Yes. and they let him out yeah. and he comes you know and then 
the Holy Spirit has come. Mm. All the other time, he doesn't have to be there. Mm. No, the Holy Spirit was not present. Mm. Now when he shows up, begins to preach, that's when, the, you understand? Mm. Yeah. That's so wrong. Mm. That's so wrong. Mm. You see what I'm saying? But we need to come out. Come out of that stupid thing. Mm. Come out of that little room. Mm. You're supposed to be, I remember one time, <laughs> I was invited <laughs> to this place to minister. <laughs> I don't take too many invitations because I can empty the church. Some of the things that I say, you have to be very careful. <laughs> you know, I can cut your congregation in half. You know what I mean? But that being said, and so I went to this uh, man of God. If I told you his name, you'd know him. He's a very powerful, you know, gentleman. Uh, but anyway, I went there and I was invited to minister. And that day, I went, I got to church early. I usually get there early. Mm. People don't come before me. That's what mm. a real man of God has to do. Mm. Coming late? What kind of man of God is this? Mm. How are you being an example? Late. All traffic, all rain. Blame it all. Mm. Blame the devil if you like. Mm. That's the man of God syndrome. Yes. Mm. You think you can get away with it? No. So I show up early mm. and I'm in church. The choir is not there. The doors were open though. Mm. Nobody was there. Mm. You know, I'm in there. Wow. I sit down, get my Bible out, start to the word and then I get in and people come and and I'm like, I was the usher. <laughs> late! <laughs> Man of God! Come almost to the late, to the end of the meeting. I'm like, what in the world? This is crazy. Mm. So anyway, I get up. The time starts. I tell them, what's my time? How much time do I have? And what long, how long? When do I start? They told me when I start. I was like, you know what I did? At exactly the right time, I started. I had three people. Wow. Hmm. When they came, a lot of people came later on. I was ending. I oh. did not repeat. Oh, wow. <laughs> mm. End of service. Wow. <laughs> That's it. Hey. People. Yes. <laughs> uh, but how many men of God will do that? Ah, uh, wait for the crowds. Give them two hours. Let them all come, you know. Let's wait for them. Let's wait for them. What's your team? I'm a footer. 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 I'm congregation multitude don't mean nothing to me. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm. But I gave my best to these people. Mm. And then one woman came up. She was a choir woman later on when they started singing and all that. She said, she came and gave a testament. She said, I have never seen a man of God like this. <laughs> <laughs> she said, this man came early before all of us. <laughs> the men yeah. of God we are used to, they come late. Yeah. They come after worship. They yeah. come did mm. you know I didn't even tell her man of God syndrome like yes. I'm telling you, our mm. listeners? Yes. But I ministered to her. I blessed mm. her. Yes. You see what I'm trying to say? Mm. And then I went to the second service. Mm. People were there. I did what I did. My time ended. Mm. I stayed among the people, shook their hands, chatted with them. I leave last. Mm. Wow. Eh, unless I'm going somewhere to another thing. If I'm going nowhere, why am I rushing? Mm. You know why? Because I don't have the man of God syndrome. Mm. I was vaccinated against this thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, by the grace of God. <laughs> I, I, I don't have any. <laughs> and I'm dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't have any. Mm. But what is this kind of stuff? No, I'm not against bodyguards. If your life is threatened, mm. I don't think yeah. there's a problem with that. Mm. Oh, you may ask me about man of God or rich. Why should a minister, you know, a preacher have bodyguards well if his life is in danger why should he not have a bodyguard mm. oh but let him trust the holy spirit of course he does mm. let me ask you a question when you go out to drive your vehicle do you take off the brakes and trust the holy spirit <laughs> why don't you take them off and trust the holy spirit yeah putting mm. the brakes on is part of trusting the holy spirit mm. wake up yes. mm. 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 Yes. you understand yeah. your trust is not in the brakes it's mm. in the holy spirit mm. amen yes so I'm not knocking, having all these uh, bodyguards. Mm. Have 20 if you yeah. like. Mm. Yeah. But just hear from the Lord. If you didn't mm. tell to have any, don't have any. Mm. You know what I mean? But yes. That's, that's not a problem. But you having bodyguards to the point that, man, if a baby ever comes close like the disciples mm. were doing with children, mm. get him out of here. Exactly. You but Myers, mm. you're blind. Be quiet. Mm. Don't you know that this is the man of God? Jesus, mm. Jesus said, the Batmas, what did he do? He even loud and Jesus stopped. Mm. Ah, 
mm. the real man of God. Yes. He stopped. Mm. Where is he? Mm. The woman with the issue of blood. Mm. Jesus stopped. Mm. Man of God. That's mm. the real man of God. That's right. <laughs> you know That's what I mean? Right. That's Among right. the people. Mm. Responding to the needs of the people. Mm. Compassion upon the people. Mm. People mm. are hungry. Feeding all the people. Mm. Mm. I don't remember when I read that passage when Jesus fed the people. I don't remember him seeing him eating or reading that he ate. I'm not saying he didn't eat. <laughs> But his yeah. priority was not on his belly. Mm. Was on the what? The people. People's bellies. Mm. Mm. The real man of God. That's wow. right. The real man of God. Wow. You see the example in Jesus? Wow. That's what we're talking about, having an example. Mm. You can say, oh, Jesus had bodyguards in the 12. Mm. What happened when Peter cut off the ear of Marcus? Mm-hmm. When Jesus was being taken? Mm-hmm. Jesus took the ear and put it back. Of the very enemy, the guy that came to take him. Mm. Just imagine the impact the man of God had on that person. Yes. You know what many my, my, many other men of God would do? Mm. Cut off more ears. <laughs> <laughs> Cut this one his ear. Cut the one to Peter. Get the sword. Get a bigger sword. Slice the ears. <laughs> and Jesus, man of God, he came. He said, Peter, put away the sword. Mm. Took the ear. Mm-hmm. I don't know where he got it from. Mm. Did it fall in his fingers or he put it from the mm. ground? I care less. He put it back. Mm. Instantly healed. Mm. That is a man of God. Jesus, the Bible says, Philippians chapter 2, he humbled himself. Mm. Yes. Man, Mm. he who was God humbled himself and put on the likeness of man Mm. to the point of dying on the cross. Yes. That is a man of God. Mm. He Mm. came down to the people. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yes. That is what we call what? Man, a man of God. Of God. Ladies right. and gentlemen, a lot of these things that we're doing, untouchable, and Mm. this, and this, Mm. and this, oh, oh, you know, you that is all irrelevant. Mm. The certain man of God, you can never criticize him. You can never say nothing about him. Everybody has to sing praises to their name. Mm. Mm. And if everybody criticizes him, they get out with guns blazing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. You start a ministry mm. about criticizing every other person. Mm. Why? Because you think you're higher than them? Ladies and gentlemen, men of God are on the same level mm. like every other person. The only difference they have is that God has called them and given them position position of leadership. Mm. It, the anointing is not better, it's different. The anointing yes. is different from mine, it's not better than mine. Their calling is different from mine, not better than mine. Mm. Amen. Yes. That's wow. right. And that is what we mm. should be telling people. Mm. Otherwise, we have this mindset, this man of God syndrome that is literally destroying wow. the body wow. of Christ. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sichibi, yes. Na yaba kumi ba nubali me kukuma eri ba ntubo ina kuweleza. Mm. Sigwe muli mugwa ba kumi. Obulambo yes. eba muli mukati yaba ga. Sicha sitani, cha bwa katonda. Ngera wokuata moto kaya noji teka mo bolechi. Sikuwanti tewe siga moyo mtu kuvu. Yes. Na yechi kula gani tewe siga moyo mtu kuvu. Kwe kuka kaza ntewe bolechi zozi kula mo moto. <laughs> Aito chini saka le denyo. Hey. Uh, matter of fact, to give a good example of that, if you, don't, if, you, if you if you if you're saying you really want to trust God. You know, if you if you know an airplane, you've, you've flown, you've been in the air before, you just get a baby and put him to be your pilot and believe God. <laughs> Will you fly? No. A lot of nonsense mm. that people come up with is just true. unbelievable. Mm. Wow, you see wow. what I mean? Mm. It's trusting God. Mm. Yes. The Bible says some trust in horses, mm. some trust in chariots, but mm. we'll remember the name of the Lord mm. at Psalm 20 verse 7. Yeah. Mm. That's trusting God. You, mm. It doesn't mean because you're riding a horse, you're not trusting God. Mm. It doesn't mean because, because I have a gun, I'm not trusting God. Mm. No, my trust is not in the gun, but I'll use it on you. Yeah. Mm. You break into my house. That's right. That's in the States where I come from, right? Mm. You, use my, you break into my house. Oh boy. I'll trust God and squeeze the trick. <laughs> then I'll carry you out. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. No, yeah, I'm trusting God. I am. Yes. Mm. Mm. And if I don't have a gun, woof legs, I'll mm. punch you in the mouth, trusting God. Mm. You get what I'm trying to say? That's so, right. People have these mindsets and these funny, funny things they come up with. Oh, when you mm. do this, you're not trusting God. I am yeah. trusting God. But the mm. point in all of this is not even that. The point in all that I'm saying, you need to get to a place where you are available as a minister among mm. the people so they can touch you. Yeah. Jesus said, let the children come unto mm. me. Mm. Let them come unto me. Suppose we're saying, stay away. Mm. That's a man of God, mm. right? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we are having the service. We want ev- no babies crying. Yeah. When the baby cries in church, man of God is so mad. Mm. When mm. the instrument doesn't sound the way it's supposed to sound and all oh, technical issues, the man of God will blast the guy or the technician, <laughs> will blast the choir leader. Mm-hmm. You crazy, oh, 
what spirit has come upon you? Eh? <laughs> yeah. You know why he's doing that? Because hey, he's higher than everybody else. You know, yes. man of God. Mm. You know, wow. you know. Mm. But, but there's room for error. Mm. You know, there's, there's some stupidity that people do, but then also there's room for error. People make mistakes. Man of God, you two, you screw up. Mm. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Mm. But, but this stuff, we can't do this kind of stuff. Yes. Mm. You know, we just take all the babies out and pe- people feel like, oh, you know, baby shouldn't cry. What yeah. do babies do? They cry. Cry. They cry, mm. man. Ask your mother. She'll tell you. <laughs> you know? And it comes yeah. So the thing is, we're trying to just create this mm. thing and just make it look like, oh my God, look, I'm the best and everything and look at me, everything's perfect and mm. just trying to engineer and perfect every scenario, every environment. Mm. Look, man, you have flaws. Accept it. Mm. That's right. In your spirit, your wall to wall, perfect, you're mm. holy, but man, in your flesh, in your soul, mm. you stink. Mm. You have some work to do. Yeah. Be ye transformed by the renewing mm. present mm. continuous mm. of your mm. mind. Mm. This was not written to believers only. It was written to every believer, including the man of God. We yes. all renew our minds. Amen. Yes. Mm. So mm. I'm saying this to say, stop thinking that you are the mediator between God and man and just trying to manipulate and control. You can't buy no car until you come to me. You can't get married until I have it. Say, mm. stop it, man. That's yes. not your place. Mm. That mm. is not your place. Mm. Man, I'm saying a lot of good wow. things around here. Wow. 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 So, as you reject being magnified and all this drama and all these kind of things that people are doing, let me talk about, again, submission. Oh, boy. That's another one. I am submitted to the man of God. Please be submitted to the man of God, but submission doesn't mean that your head stops working. Doesn't mean you throw out the Bible. Mm. Doesn't mean that you obey everything. Mm. Submission, ladies and gentlemen, is not synonymous to obedience. Yes. Submission is not synonymous to obedience. Okukakana. Obugonvu. Chaukana nyo. Some people think, brother, Mm. that because uh, I am submitted to you, Mm. everything you say goes. Uh Mm. Jump 20 feet, you jump. Mm. Roll on the ground, you roll. Mm. Uh, That kind of stuff. That Mm. is not what submission means. Mm. Zikakani, Kuyukaka Santi, Guchongamba Chona, Monda, Bangali Kurimoti, yes. Go walk about it, Mokola, walk about no reach of a nang. Ah, Director Chagizaku Kugamba, Nti Okuka Kana de Chita Gazan to Batu Fuser Robot, yes. Nti Okola Bukozi, Ochuka, Gurichimu, Bagama Chuken or no Chuka, you know, yes. And you have, you have to, you have to be respectful. And the way you decline, mm. you don't say, Man of God, sit down, shut mm. up. You don't do that, mm. of course. Mm. No, you can do it, dis- you can do it respectfully and decline respectfully. Mm. I respectfully decline, yeah. Mm. Yeah. you know. I'm, I want to pray about this, mm. I want to think yes. about mm. this. I disagree, but I, I love you and I respect you. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. You can do it in a godly way, but I'm mm. telling you, a lot of people have been burned and they're still getting burned because they don't know what the word of god says and they have man of god said that goes no yeah. questions asked it is yeah. what it is that's it mm. in other words they're saying you know they're not they're not saying they're not saying if the bible says it that's it they're mm. saying when the man of god says it that's yes it. Mm. That's there's right. a problem with that mm. mindset mm. that's why you're broke that's why you're busted that's mm. why you're up and down like a yo-yo mm. that's why your life is not adding up mm. that's why you're still not married yeah. mm. because you've delegated the major decisions of your life between mm. you and god mm. to another human being yes wow. why because they are a man of god wow. now look you i'm a man of god if you want to use that but the mm. truth is i don't see myself like other folks and I'm not I'm not saying all these things to criticize other people. I'm just saying we need to have soundness in this area because we've been deceived. Yeah. Satan has used that mindset to steal from us. Mm. And some folks, some men of God that are not sincere have used that to manipulate, control, mm. steal, hurt mm. yes. a lot of people. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's wow. why some people are still single. Mm. That's why your business never took off. Mm. Yes. Man of God. Mm. syndrome you mm. never read the bible you never heard from mm. god you yes. wanted to hear from who wow. from the man, the man of, of god. god no you need to hear from the word of god actually what i'm doing i'm doing exactly what jesus did to those guys remember they came looking for him oh your brethren yeah, you're looking yeah. for you mm. and said here are my brethren they that do the mm. will of god yes. it was putting mary where she truly belongs mm. in the right full mm. place and i'm saying i'm doing the same thing with the men of god yes but also i'm exalting Yes. The word of God above 
Amen. Yes. The man of God. Amen. Amen. And if you understand what I'm saying, this will truly, truly set you free. And a lot of people also have this challenge when it mm. comes to men of God and they want titles. Mm. You should call me prophet, evangelist, apostle, mm. pastor, teacher, rich. Mm. And if you dare call me by my first name, it's an <laughs> insult. Mm. <laughs> you know, and they have all these title sickness. You know mm. why? It's the man of God syndrome. Mm. The man of God syndrome went to a lot of people's heads. Mm. It's affecting their thinking process. If you don't call them without a title, the most effective people, ladies and gentlemen, that I know, and probably I'll argue you know in the world, don't have titles. Yes. You don't need a title, ladies and gentlemen, to be effective. If you need a title to be effective and to make a difference or to introduce you, that means you're average. Wow. Yes. You can make your name <laughs> Where it is very resounding mm. without a title. Katitua geda kuchitibwa. Ebitibwa. Waluwawa weleza. Nga gwe oga mandi wabato mtade kuchitibwa chango wabato chitade kulinyari yangi. No mwe mtu kufutaba hao. Mm. Nenjili sawa kujivu ulira. Mm. Ngeena no malo chigeza bugeza. No leta e, no yogere elinyari omusajja wakato. No omuchara wakato. No omuchara Bishop Mweleza Mutume Ate ya yiti ungatota deko manyage Obuzwa vuze yes. Neno recho o, Director Gamanti Bobanga gwe e, Chukufuro kukola cho Ino kukola cho Namu vutufu wacho Linya yes. Oba chitiwa Katioteke duo kweke vila Absolutely Because titles don't make you effective mm. You make the title mm. ah. you, Title doesn't make you Yes Actually Think about Jesus do we say apostle, pastor, evangelist, pastor, <laughs> teacher, bishop, Jesus? No. Just use it. Yes. Simple name. Mm. The name above all names, not the title. Mm. Above all titles. Wow. wow. I can tell a lot of other people. I know many times we say apostle Paul. Mm. Paul, Peter, John. Right? Mm. Andrew Womack. Yes. Not pastor, bishop. Evangelist teacher mm. Andrew Womack, mm. you know what I'm saying? Mm. You don't need a title yes. to be effective. Yeah. A title should never define you, ladies and gentlemen. It's because if you let titles mm. and you think titles add value to you, mm. you have missed the point. Mm. You can have a title mm. and nobody calls your phone. Mm. Yes. <laughs> 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 Go to full HT. What so HT was chicken full at your wow. Chicken in you go on the way to get it. You are or cook at your a go in a full HT. What see wow. also there's a good friend of mine, uh, not a friend, but a guy that are you know many of you know about him, but uh, his name was uh, uh Dr. Miles Monroe. Mm. Miles Monroe was a very powerful teacher of the word, and you know, he died, I think, about uh, maybe it's going to 10 years almost, I don't know. But uh, he didn't say something that was very powerful and say something along these lines. When you are effective in life, you reduce your first, you reduce yourself to your first name. Yes. When you're effective in life, mm. you reduce yourself to what? To your first name. Mm. The most effective people don't carry and run around with titles. Mm. Did you know if I said Museveni, mm. do I have to say president? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You get to a place where mm. you don't have to say. Mm. Mm. Eh, it's mm. already people understand it. They get it. When I say Andrew Womack, mm. you just know he's a teacher of the world. Yes. Right? You <laughs> if, if you're. And I'm, Again, you can use any other leader that you want that you can mm. think of that doesn't run around with first names and all mm. this and this and this and this. Mm. I've heard stories. Let me share a story with you. I was in India at that time and I have a dear friend of mine told me this story and I thought it was funny. We used to do conferences and do go different places and everything. One day we were, we were in a room, a bunch of boys. We came in a conference and we are laying down one close to another. So one, one of these guys goes to the restroom no, it was, I think, outside and then came in later when everybody was laying down. And these guys were all laying down close to each other. There was no space for him to lay down. Mm. This guy said, Isaac, move. I also want to lay down. No response. David, move. <laughs> I also want to lay down. No response. <laughs> uh, 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 moonlight, mm. move. No response. 
Asanga, move. Mm. No response. But then he got a revelation. Mm. He said, man of God, move. Mm. Ah! <laughs> the dead came to life. <laughs> People gave him more room than he wanted. Mm. You know what they're waiting for? How dare you call me by my first name? Put man of God and I'll mm. respond. Wow. You know, a lot of people don't wow. respond wow. until they mm. put man of God in their mm. name. Mm. Mm. Man of God. Mm. This guy, he knew what would make, what would open doors for people. Mm. Man of God. Mm. Man of God this. Preacher this. Prophet this. Mm. You know, you, how dare you say his name with that? Look, if you need a title, I repeat, that mm. means you have not been so effective. There are certain names, they'll tell you one name. And they don't have to say entrepreneur. Yes. <laughs> Murana. Mm. Entrepreneur. Mukwano. Mm. Entrepreneur. Mm. Madivan. Mm. Entrepreneur. Wavamono. Mm. <laughs> entrepreneur. Mm. Rich Kenyali. Mm. You don't have to say those things. Mm. <laughs> People just know. Mm. Yes. No mm. need for title. Mm. Mm. The reason why you're wanting a title, why you're crying for it, why you go angry for it, is because you're not effective. Yes. It's because you're not adding value. Mm. It's because you haven't made a difference. Mm. People that, oh, prophet, apostle Moses in the mm. Bible. Mm. Is that how we say? No. Bishop Joshua. Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> right? We go on and on with all these funny mm. things and it's wow. not relevant. Mm. Get over this there title is, thing. There is something that you've actually mentioned that is very important. Government title does not define you, mm. you know? Because uh, we don't need to to know your title to know that you are this kind of person, but we shall see your works, you know. Mm. And in the Jukiza scripture, yes, we are gamba. Watching it a scripture, no kubanga, in the Jukizanti, Abasaja Bakatunda, Bako on farming, Echum Kamachaba Kozechi, Atugambi, Sive Bat Soko Tugamba. Mm. Na ye, be mukama soka na ugida nafi. Mm. Mukama bogana, then they confirm. Mm. No funa confirmation. Kuma gonna gant a testimony of two or three witnesses is established. Mm. Mm. Bone banyue zechu mukama chako zechi. Gwecha so so kuko lachi. Mm. O kukugam baby seleb singa to gende bo sejok nokmanga. Tuganyo kuudi la tuganyo mm. kukiriza echo mukama cha tu gambi tu wusa wos. Akatu la bom saja yeswanu. It's very interesting mu John five twenty one. Mm. Yes, why nation chakula nation to Gambachia when you say yes, one booze anti Goriweka Oluweka and Yaku syndicate Yaku syndicate Gamba, the sin is a car, nay, or you a yan to much tang in Zendina ye, yan syndica. Nay, I nation to Chiogera a chee when you say Yagamba anti um, but also Mamu John five thirty five. Agamant, if I bear witness of myself, my witness is not uh, is not true. Mm. There is another who bears witness of me. And I know that the witness which he bears of me is true. Mm. You have sent to John, he has borne witness to the truth, yet I do not receive the testimony of man, but I say these things that you may be saved. Yagamanti, nzenchimanyi inti, obujulizi buwange. Butufu kwanga waluwa bujuliza. Oyansindise. Chiaita, the three, um, the three what? Uh, 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 no, the fourfold witnesses. Aba Julie wa Aba na. Na yeye wudi la. Obu Yesu, obu vumuwe ya bute kakuwa Julie wa Aba sato. Na yeye mu Julie royoko na yamu mentioni inga kuruwa kuruwa ba ndu kuwa bogo ba tegera. Ga tegeza yukana. Ni ya gamanti inze. Obu vumuwe ni na. Obu Julie wa wangu. Buri basi gamu kubantu basi. Echi soka ebi koru ebi angi. Bi Julie la. Echo kubiri ebi a wandi kiba mu visoma mulo waza. Tumu jaku jamu ochi. Na ye biyo bi testifying ni inze. E chokuna oye yan sindika. Wow. E bi korua oye yan sindika chita nge nebi awa ndiki. Na ye kuruwa mwe kama mentioni nge joni. Na ye wanagami mbuno mm. I do not receive the testimony of man. Yesu te yateka buwesi guawe kuyokana wow. mm. chiyari ya mwogira kocho kanga ate at that point. Yokana was the greatest prophet. Wow. Mm. Nga mazeno kumuo gira ko. Mubazari wow. buwa machala bo. Nina Yokana ya kola chi. Mm. Ate Yesu wa gamba. Mbu ye. Oh, gamba. He does not receive the testimony of men. Mm. Agamba ye. He receives the testimony of the father. The works that I do bear witness. Now if testimony. John. Whatever John is saying about me is true. Mm. But I don't put my confidence wow. in it. But, but, but yeah. I admit it because he's a man of God. He's mm. sent. You know mm. to bear witness of me on what. But. He's confirming mm. what I already know. Wow. 
and yet John was the greatest prophet wow. wow. of the time. Yes, oh, yes oh. absolutely. It's powerful. So again, <clears throat> a lot of things we can say about this and a lot of scriptures. Actually, I was thinking about this scripture in the book of 1 Timothy as David was sharing that 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 14. Mm. It says, neglect not the gift that is in thee. Mm. The gift is in thee. Yes. It didn't it's a lot of people don't recognize that the gift is already in them. God has mm. already given the gift, and so mm. they want to go to the man of God to give him the gift. Yes. Mm. But the mm. gift is already in there. Yes. It's mm. in there. Wow. Right? It's in there. The man of God only confirms, <laughs> doesn't give. No mm. man gives gifts. Mm. The Bible says, and and he gave gifts unto men. Mm. Ephesians chapter yes. 4. Who mm. gave? Talking about Jesus. Mm. No man gives gifts. Mm. They don't have any. They are also given. Yes. Eh? They also <laughs> want gifts. They are also given. But I don't know. 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 Ile chigamu chupa Twitter submission. Tu submitting. Lua kulaba anga. Tu, tu, tu yola. Mm. Eji ni kumutaja wakatonda. Yes. Mm. Wow. No, no. You have to go to the Lord and discover your gifts. It's mm. God that gives gifts. Mm. You know, and you, you study the word of God. And you as you continue reading the word, you mm. come to a place where you discover your mm. gift. Mm. You know, your gift is in you. God has already given it to you. The mm. gifts and the callings of God are without repentance. Wow. At Romans chapter 11. Mm. 29 it's in there god has given it to you and some mm. of you don't know what it is and all you have to do is a discovery process wow. you're digging for gold mm. you know what mm. i mean mm. it's a discovery mm. process mm. it's not that i go to isaac and he gives me mm. where did he get it from who made him god who made him the supplier yes mm. eh? who gave him monopoly no the person that is giving you a gift also was given a gift mm. so all these things we do because again ladies and gentlemen we're ignorant mm. yes but if we understand the truth of the word of God, mm. it's going to really set us free mm. to live life, enjoy life. Mm. If you don't enjoy your Christian walk, mm. something is wrong. Mm. Either you don't know the word of God, either you're fellowshipping in the wrong place or whatever. Man, you need to be enjoying your walk with God. Mm. Christian walk is beautiful. If yes. you let the Holy Spirit live through you, mm. stop living for God. Mm. I repeat, stop living for yes. God and let God live through you. It's a big yes. difference. Mm. Let God live through you, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. So as we come to a conclusion here, I want to also mention this as we go back to submission. Mm. A lot of abuse has happened in this area. I talked about titles and I think I put that to rest. Yeah. You know, but in the area of submission, again, because somebody... I'm thinking of a pastor that has no sheep. Pastor yeah. somebody and has no sheep, man. Why are you pastoring? <laughs> you know, how do you find it? How, when somebody calls you a shepherd and you have no sheep, I feel like they're insulting you. <laughs> uh, somebody say, oh, they're speaking in prophecy. If they've been speaking, prophesying in your life for 20 years, mm. what kind of prophecy is this, man? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is a joke, man. <laughs> yeah, just say, you know what? Just call me by my first name. Yeah. It's better that way. It's more encouraging. <laughs> you know, but you know what? We have the man of God syndrome. If you don't call me by apostle, pastor, something, something, bishop first, ah, I'm offended. Mm. You know one thing? Let me share this with you. When I was working in Colorado at the headquarters of Andrew Mac Ministries Carriage Bible College, and Womack always walked around to say hi to the people and shake hands and just have a chat with people all the time. I remember many times he came to my office and knocked on my door. Mm. Andrew Womack knocked on my door, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. He was the boss. Wow. He could have just opened my door. Mm. He knocked on my door and I gave him a sign to come in through yes. the glass and he came in. Mm. Wow. wow, That is wow. humility. Wow. Mm. But another thing I want to say is this. Did you know when Andrew walked around, we didn't say, the president is coming. Mm. President founder is coming. Mm. Teacher and Womack is coming. Mm. We don't do. We don't do. We didn't do that kind of stuff. Mm. You know what we did? We said, "Hello, Andrew. Mm. How are you doing? Yes. Hello, sir. Mm. It's fine. Mm. Nothing wrong with that. Mm. You know what I mean? But we didn't say, "Hello, President Founder Andrew Womack." <laughs> That is foolishness, man. Yeah. That is one of the most ridiculous thing you could do. Andrew will think something is wrong with your head. we are like, you okay? <laughs> that is strange. Yeah. Mm. Did you know? I don't care if you work in a garage and you're a mechanic. Mm. And you say, my name is Mechanic Isaac. No, you're not. Mm. Your name is Isaac. Mm, mechanic right. is what you do. Mm. Yes. You're not defined by mechanic. Oh, I'm a doctor. I'm mm. a medical doctor. So I have to go by doctor. 
listen man what you do is not who you are i repeat mm. what you do is not who you are if you truly know who you are in christ mm. even if they forgot to put that on you yes. it will not make a difference mm. yes your true identity is in who you are in christ not in what you do mm. so your identity is not in what you do mm. your identity is not in how you look mm. oh i am short i am beautiful oh i am light skin i'm mm. dark skin oh this your identity is not in your body that's right i promise you mm. in 30 years from now in 40 years from now mm. you realize what i just told you if you're not dead your physical <laughs> body is not dead you look in the mirror and be like what am i seeing what is this <laughs> you realize that your identity is not in your physical that's self. right mm. god forbid mm. people sometimes go through tragedy and they have an accident mm. maybe they they lose an arm they lose mm. a leg if you had mm. your identity in your legs mm. ladies <laughs> you have one now wow. you just lost your identity mm. quit having your identity in how you look that's mm. right you may think you look better than everybody else mm. your flesh is subject to change change Amen. your identity Amen into who you are in Christ in yes. who you are in your spirit that's your right. true identity mm. is defined by your spirit mm. Mm. and so if you understand this then don't go around trying to look down on everybody because mm. you look like a, a model who cares mm. <laughs> the reason why your skin is because you don't eat mm. you eat and you'll see what happens that's right <laughs> right anyway quit mm. having your identity in all these things i'm mm. saying these things to say is that this title thing ladies and mm. gentlemen mm. anyway going on to the submission and stuff you know again submission has been used by many to to abuse and control and manipulate mm. because oh you have you're submitted to this man of god you're mm. submitted over here mm. and this kind of stuff and you know you can be submitted whatever you want to but true submission is unto the lord mm. Mm. if you submitted to the man of god and you're contradicting the word you're not even submitted to the man of god yes mm. neither are you submitted to god you're like mm. the pharisees we talked about earlier mm. Mm. they're trying their best to preserve and keep the traditions of men mm. yet the transgressing the tradition yeah. the word of god the word of mm. god yes mm. your priorities are off mm-hmm. let me end with a story someone shared a story with me and i think i mentioned a little bit about it mm. um you know this guy young man you know was getting ready to get married met a sister and you know they they knew each other they grew together they work you know shared things together and they were planning mm. to get married mm. <clears throat> and so but this man of god or this young man was going to a different church and this girl was going to a different church or submitted let me use mm. the word submitted <laughs> mm. to this church and submitted to another <laughs> church mm. and hey. so well i think you know when the, the 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 relationship was growing and they were getting ready so the young lady told him hey i want you to come meet my man of god the guy said sure i'll mm. come meet your man of god mm. so the guy goes in to meet the man of god and the man of god and his entourage his um team tells the guy look you know to marry this woman you need mm. to change locations man you need to come be submitted mm. over mm. here mm. ah the guy mm. said what <laughs> <laughs> over here <laughs> he mm. said no Mm. and guess what and the woman said no you have to come submitted mm. to this man of god the guy said no i'm not coming guess what mm. happened to the relationship they broke up it was over mm. but do you know who actually are put and make responsible for all of that all of that are put on the feet of the man of god it was mm. responsible yes he made a condition that the young woman did not even know how to say you know what i think you've We've gone too far. This is a decision for me to make between me and the guy, mm. between me and the Lord. And mm. 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 you see what I'm trying to say? And yes. the man of God came in, but the man of God did not marry her. He's already married. <laughs> so the girl is single, <laughs> stayed single. You see what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Yes. In the name of, so the guy was trying to manipulate, trying to mm. control, mm. Mm. trying to mm. make himself God. Mm. Who decides? Mm. 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 Not even a parent, not even a biological parent. Yes. Should get to make that call. Mm. But a man of God, ah, oh, higher than the parents even. Oh, they get to tell everybody who they destroyed a relationship. Mm. In the name of submission. Wow. Now, I know some of you are listening to me and I've been exactly through that. Yeah. You need to rise up and refuse mm. this kind of stuff. You need to stop this kind of stuff because mm. if you don't end it, it will never stop. That's mm. right. And don't be afraid what people think. 
Oh, they're going to say I disobeyed the man of God. No, you obeyed God. That's true. Mm. You know, let God be true. Romans chapter 3 and every man in life. Mm. Obey God and disobey man. Hallelujah. Wow. Obey God and disobey man. Wow. Because at the end of the day, you're going to live with this. Mm. The decision you make, you're going to live with it. Mm. Don't marry the person the man of God wants you to marry. Mm. Marry the person that God wants you to marry. I repeat, mm. mm-hmm. don't marry the person that the man of God wants you to marry. Yes. Marry the person that God wants you mm. to marry. Wow. And if you understand that, you will run to God and say, God, who? Mm-hmm. Wow. You won't go to the man of God and say, the reason why you go to man of God because you're concerned. You want him to, you want to marry who he wants you to marry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But if mm-hmm. you're wanting to marry who God wants you to marry, then you run to God to ask who. And who God says goes, not what the man of God says. Tito wa soyo, omsaja wa kunagwa ya galo wa se. Omsaja wa kunagwa mchala wa kunagwa ya gala go wa se. Na ye wa soyo katunda gwa kola shi? Gwa ya galo wa se. Gwa ya gala wa se. Ere so nga lwa chi, mm. odu kire wa msaja wa katunda, obo mchala wa katunda. Kubanga, gwe o ya gala, o yu gwa ya gala. Mm. Obo wa sa. <laughs> <laughs> Nenga gwe mutima go ina, omuntu gwa ya gala. Obo chitegele. Mm. Benone mm. bintu manna ibikulu nyo kubanzi mzikiri za daranti ya, ya masomo ganogo. Na gwe na wena uvanga lino liye someri sose. Chukulu nyo dala. Tandi kila kusomeli sose. Yes. Eli okubili, dinotulikuli ya kusatu. Mm. Na ima njide daranti vanje evi wundo eva devi wade. Yes. Evi wade. Mm. Gwe guno mukisa gwe ine evi wundo evi Wow. Let me, let me conclude with this again about this relationship I was sharing with you. Mm. So, of course, the relationship ended and uh, the marriage never happened. But then also another thing that is true about that relationship is if they had gotten married, mm. I can guarantee you would not have worked. That's right. If you have a person in the middle yeah. mm. who is not God, mm. they, will, they will not unite you. It's wow. true. They will separate you. Mm. There's, God is the glue. Mm. Man of God, rich, nobody's glue. Mm. God is on the glues two people together. Mm. Man of God separates. Yes. Wow. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm. If you listen and exalt any other person in your marriage, in your relationship, apart, above God, Mm. It's a problem. It's true. A rela- marriage relationship is a relationship between three people. Mm. And your man of God, your papa, your mama is mm. now one of them. Mm. That's right. I repeat, number one is the man. Mm. Number two is the woman. Mm-hmm. And above all is God. Mm. Three people. Mm. Wow. Three people, not wow. even your grandmother, mm. <laughs> not even your lovely mother, mm. not even your beautiful, awesome daddy. Mm. Is not one of them. Mm. 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 Get over it. Wow. That's mm. it. Oh boy, I love you. I said all these things out of love. <laughs> and I know you understand that. And I believe this has really, really set you free if you've been listening carefully. Wow. If we've had three teachings of this and uh, one, two, and three. And so I want to encourage you to go find it, get it, mm. and then just listen to it. And I believe it's going to really add value to you. It's going to totally transform your life. Let me also say this. Mm. Please, if you've been blessed by this, please consider becoming a partner mm, with Andrew right. Mark Ministries Uganda. We mm. cannot do this without yeah. the support of our partners. We rely on you guys. But again, we're not saying that you take what belongs elsewhere and <laughs> give it to us. No, 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 no. Yes. We don't arm trees. We don't play man of God syndrome. I mean, mm. Be led of the Lord and make sure you have your priorities right. Mm. Please don't stay on the street and say you're giving to Andrew Mark Ministries. Mm. Get yourself a house to stay. Believe God and you can still give to us. Yes. But anyway, I want to encourage you to please participate Participate because at the end of the day, this ministry is super, super blessed and you want to be a part of the history mm. we are writing in the nation of Uganda. Mm. You want to be a person that is helped indirectly mm. transform the lives of other people. Mm. So, man, we love you and we believe that you can be a part of this. We'll give you the numbers, how yes. to partner with us and how to be a blessing mm. to this ministry. But, man, what a blessing we're going to be to you and we'll continue to be to you. And we believe this gospel truth uh, program will always continue to be a blessing to you. Andrew's always on teaching mm. nonstop. Why? Because we want your life to be totally transformed. Again, we love you mm. and we appreciate you being on with us today. Isaac. David Male. And Rich Kenyali. You are God, blessed. You are blessed. Amen. Ngoyagala okumanya bisinga wo kumasomo ga fegano oba ku ministry osobola kuba ku namba ya fe eyesimu eyaba uliriza aba fenge nerine ku WhatsApp group eranga osobola kuweleza SMS oba no kuba nga ogama anti mungatte ku WhatsApp group yaba uliriza oba ngobuze kibuzo chonna enamba yesimu eno eri 0750 mukaga 0 mukaga 
mwenda satu emu tano. Ngambie, ili zero msambu zero mkaga, zero mkaga, mwenda satu emu tano. That is 0706-0693-15. Oja kubo yambiwa, oja kubo yungiwa kugrupi ya wa ulirizaba fe. You are blessed.